Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So now that Gotham High is officially available, I wanted to make a video where I show you how I created the artwork for the cover. Okay, so like any other illustration project uh, that I embark on, I always start with sketches, just sketch ideas. And this particular cover, was no different. Um, in fact, on this cover, we went through so many different ideas, uh, I, myself, back and forth with uh, my editor, and um, it paid off because I, I think there was a real evolution um, of how it was going to look. I think I was originally coming at it from more of a uh, traditional comic book perspective, um, and we were trying to go for something that was a little bit different than a traditional comic uh, because it's a full-length graphic novel and um, it has a, a less traditional feel to it. Uh, we wanted to give it a little bit of a different look. So this is a very small sample of some of the sketches that I actually came up with. There was probably, um, probably double the amount of ideas, but this is just a small sample of just some of my thinking. Um, ultimately, we finally landed on this idea. This was the idea that uh, got picked, and I was actually really happy with it because um, sometimes the simplest idea works the strongest. Uh, something a little bit more graphic that can catch the eye is, um, is much more effective for a book rather than trying to throw in so much information, which I think I was trying to do early on in the process. So um, this is the idea that got picked. Uh, as you can see, I just sort of roughly indicated where the title might go. Um, ultimately, I didn't do any of the, of the final type, but I wanted to work within some sort of parameters where, where the heading would go. Um, so from here, once this got approved, then I, I went about it like I would any other illustration or comic book project and just started uh, working in stages, as I've talked about several times in some of my process videos. So um, I started just sort of chipping away at some of the um, basic anatomy and the poses, trying to get the body language right, trying to figure out uh, the poses and make sure that I was um, maintaining that, that sort of triangle composition that was sort of uh, thought of in the initial sketch. Like any other illustration, and I'm sure any of you can relate to this. Sometimes with the initial sketch, you're able to capture a lot of just energy, just this like raw energy. And then when you try to uh, build upon that in the final, things tend to stiffen up a little bit. And sometimes it's hard to maintain that, that initial energy from the sketch. So um, that was definitely a struggle. Ultimately, I, I worked through it and I feel like I captured uh, not only the energy from the sketch, but uh, a new kind of energy that came out of the, the final line work. So um, this was me just kind of playing around. As you see, I added the cat in there, <laughs> a little bit uh, extra detail. Um, and then from here, then I went to the final line work. Um, this is at that stage where it's sort of like a coloring book almost. It's just all the open line work, the outlines mainly. Uh, I like to get it to this stage, and once it's here, I feel like now I can have the fun. The, the fun part kind of starts. This is where I can balance all the black and white, add the texture, um, work on sort of um, rendering the hair and the clothing and all that kind of stuff. So that's when the fun, the fun part starts to happen. Um, and as you can see, these were the final inks. Um, we ultimately actually went back later on and changed Jack's hairstyle just because I worked on this cover um, before I actually finished the whole book. So um, as the book evolved and, and the characters evolved throughout the book, um, I had to go back and sort of match what Jack's hair looked like in, in the book. But, um, but yeah, that was pretty much the only last minute change uh, I made to it. And then uh, I sent it off to the colorist who did such an incredible job, Miguel, um, his work really, I feel like it, it added so much to the book. Um, he's responsible for so much of the overall 
you know, vibe and mood of the book. And um, I couldn't ask for um, better work from him. Uh, his name is Miguel Muerto. I hope I'm saying that right, but um, his work is fantastic. And so that was the final image. Uh, he did a really great job with the coloring. And then um, just the production team at DC did such a fantastic job with the overall book layout. I'm so happy with it. I love the way the, uh, the type came out. It feels like this book has just its own identity and it's very consistent from the cover um, all the way throughout the interior of, of the book. So um, I couldn't be more happy with it. Uh, early on, all those sketches, the sketch ideas, probably went through um, 20 or so ideas until we landed on this. But sometimes uh, that's well worth it because you land on something that, that really just works. So yeah, this was just a really quick little insight on how I came up with um, the cover for this for this book. Let me know if you have any questions. Maybe I, I left some information out uh, here. And also, I'm planning on doing more of these like behind the scenes Gotham High videos. Something where I could show you maybe some uh, behind the scenes on how I worked on some of the interiors for the book. So if you're interested in seeing videos like that, uh, definitely let me know down below. Uh, remember to give this video a like and subscribe if you're interested. And uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.